Hi, I'm Tim Frost, and in a recent video I accidentally showed exactly what happens if you forget to shut off the Vegas resample option. The slowdown clip shows all this ghosting, which is typical of what the rather notorious Vegas resample can do. What's worse is that Vegas resample is set to active by default, with no option in the setup menus to switch it off. Resample was once an OK idea when you were dealing with analog video, which was not quite 24 frames or 30 frames a second. But in this digital age, it's largely redundant. When Auto Resample sees a clip with a different frame rate to the project settings, it simply adds another frame here and there to make up the numbers. So it's really much cruder than the optical flow technology used for proper slow motion. If you're working and editing video just as it comes, then Auto Resample never gets triggered. But if you stretch a clip to slow it down, it kicks in, and generally this is not a good thing. If the clip is pretty fuzzy or cloudy, it may marginally work for you, but these are the exceptions, and my recommendation is to always disable resampling just in case. And here's how. When you have finished your video, choose the Select tool by putting your cursor anywhere in the workspace and press D until you see the Select cursor. Surround all of your video clips, select Switches, disable Resample and you're done. And now your slow-mo is in no danger of developing its own population of ghosts. Another advantage of disabling Resample is that it speeds up the final processing of your movie as resampling just about doubles the processing time for those slow-mo clips. If you found this useful, add a like, and feel free to make any comments. Of course, subscribe for more video tools and tricks.